Are you building an online brand or are you just uploading videos online? Stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you some tips on what it takes to build a successful brand. YouTube Simplify. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. A lot of people when they start out on YouTube, they're simply uploading videos. Maybe they come up with an idea, they wanna show their creativity a little bit uh, and they just basically make videos about whatever pops into their head. Now it's great and that's a great opportunity for you to learn some skills and figure out how to edit videos and get them uploaded and figure out that whole part of the workflow. But in order to be successful online for people to recognize you and your content, it's important to focus on building a brand. So how do you go about building a brand online? Well, first it's important to realize that everything that makes up your content and your presence online is part of your brand. That includes what your YouTube channel looks like, your channel art, your thumbnails, how you appear on camera, how consistent you are in that appearance, and also what you say, how you say it. All of those things go towards building your brand. Visuals are an important part of that brand, especially on YouTube. When somebody comes to your YouTube channel, they immediately get a sense of what type of creator you are based on the presentation that you deliver on your homepage. If somebody comes to visit your channel and your channel art is just some random picture, you have a cartoon for your icon and your thumbnails are all over the place or they're simply random screenshots, you're not doing a lot to deliver the message to them that you know what you're doing, you're focused on what you're doing and they can expect future quality content from you. But if you get that channel art and those thumbnails and that icon all working together to deliver a singular message that says, hey, this is who I am, this is what I'm about, and this is why you should care. Now I wanna stop you right there. One of the biggest things that I see people do is head over to Fiverr to get a quote unquote professional channel art or thumbnails, but I'll tell you what, a lot of the stuff that comes out of Fiverr is not what I would consider professional or if you wanna call it professional, it's not optimized for YouTube by any stretch of the imagination. And you probably know the ones I'm talking about. They have the really cool background and maybe they have your Instagram logo on there and your Twitter icon and they put your handles up there and it looks really cool, but that's not what you wanna do here on YouTube. When you're just starting out, it's really important to keep people focused on YouTube and you want channel art and other branding elements on your YouTube channel to do just that. Now you don't have to become a branding expert overnight. The most important thing that you can do to get your branding going in the right direction is to sit down with a notebook and a pen or pencil or on your keyboard and write one to two sentences that explains exactly what type of content you're making on YouTube. Now, if those, either one of those sentences ends with much more or end more and other things, then you're not focused enough to build a brand here on the platform. Now, if you just wanna make content all over the place, that's fine, that's cool, you can certainly do that, but when you're trying to grow a brand that people know uh, just by name or by sight, that's really gonna help you in a lot of different ways and certainly it's gonna help you make money in other ways beyond just ad revenue here on the platform. But if you are trying to grow on the platform, you are trying to make yourself known to other people that are gonna open the doors to you for opportunities, like I said, to make additional revenue through brand deals uh, and other uh, outside streams, then branding is definitely the way to go. So we're not all experts when we start. The important thing is, after you've taken that piece of paper and you've written down those two sentences, think about how you can communicate that message right on your homepage here on YouTube. It can be as simple as choosing a color, a font, and a message. If you pick blue, for example, make your background and your channel art blue, make the border on your thumbnails blue, have a blue background behind your icon. If you're somebody that appears in your videos, get your face up there on your channel art and your icon on your thumbnails. All of those things are gonna work together to identify your brand and help people become familiar with you and the stuff that you're creating here on YouTube. Now I know a lot of people like to go out there and look at the really popular or the really successful YouTubers and go, hey, they're successful, I'm gonna do what they do. But if you've ever looked at like PewDiePie's channel art, that's not the way you wanna go when you're just starting out. PewDiePie could pretty much put up anything he wanted as his channel art and he would still be one of the biggest YouTubers uh, that has ever graced the platform. 
your job, your focus on getting your branding in check and starting to move in that direction towards solid branding is communication. You want to communicate to a new viewer who knows nothing about you as much information in the shortest amount of time as possible. And you're going to do that through the image that you present on your homepage on your YouTube channel. Even if your channel art is as simple as a solid background, the title of your channel, the cat channel, and then you just provide a little bit of information below that that tells people what to expect, cat videos weekly. You're heading in the right direction of building something that people can rely on in terms of the type of content you're going to give them. And when we talk about growing on YouTube, it's super important to focus in on a niche. Like we talked about earlier, the idea that you can make whatever kind of content pops into your head is fine if you're not interested in growing and building a successful brand. But if you are focused on building a brand, you want those opportunities, you want to someday make this your career, then it's really important to focus in on a niche, get that branding in check, and provide that professional, I know what I'm doing, this is what you're gonna get for me image so people know what to expect. And when they come to your channel, it's an easy slam dunk. They're like, of course I'm gonna subscribe to this person. This is the daily cat video or the weekly cat video channel and that's what I'm looking for. Now your branding does extend into your content, the way you present yourself, the way you speak, maybe some of the phrases that you say, the way you introduce your videos, how you exit your videos, all of those things go into branding. There's a lot of opportunity there to kind of try things, see what works, see what feels natural for your personality, work through them, experiment, see what you like. On my channel, I've gone through a bunch of different iterations, but uh, all of those things help to make your brand. On my videos and every single video you've ever seen me in here on YouTube, um, well, maybe 95% of them, you'll always see me in a hat because that's just how I roll. But if I suddenly showed up one day with no hat in a tank top, sitting in the back of a pickup truck drinking a beer, it would be slightly different than the brand that you've come to know here on Creator Fundamentals if you've ever seen my videos. Now there are certainly times when I'd prefer to be sitting in the back of a pickup truck drinking a beer, but when I'm here on YouTube focused on making content that can help you simplify YouTube, there is a certain image that I try to portray to share with you that I know what I'm talking about, that I do have experience in this content, and that I have been successful in the past. So if you are committed to building a brand, don't run out and head over to Fiverr and start paying people to make you professional stuff. Sit down with that pad and paper, write out exactly what you're gonna make content on, and don't deviate from that. Don't throw in random videos from your kids or you went to a graduation party or hey, I was taking a walk and I filmed this duck. All those things need to be pushed out. If you really need to do those, you can create another channel to do those. But when you're focused on building a brand, you want everything to be on topic, in niche, and focused on delivering whatever value you've communicated to your subscribers that they can find on your channel. And hey, don't forget this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's an absolute game changer. If you're not using it, what are you waiting for? You can go to trytubebuddy.today and download it for free. All right, so as I mentioned before, custom thumbnails are super important in helping you deliver your brand's message to viewers who happen to find your content here on YouTube. You definitely wanna get into the practice of making custom thumbnails. I'm going to put a link right here on how to make custom thumbnails in a free software called GIMP. I want you to click on that right now. Don't even hang around to the end of the video. That's all the time we have for today. If you're still here, even though I told you to go, I'm gonna put that same video on the end screen. So definitely check it out and start making your custom thumbnails and try something like GIMP to really take that to the next level. What are you still doing here? Get over there, watch that video.